I'm not happy with the lighting here in my shop, and you can see it right here in that my face is a little bit washed out. So let me take you through how I'm going to assess the problem and then solve it. If you're like me, you use your garage or your shop for all sorts of things. I use mine for detailed work like fly tying, tying fishing rigs, and woodworking. And for all those things, I need bright, clear light, especially for the woodworking when I'm reading small measurements on these tapes and I don't want to cut my fingers off. I'm motivated to solve the problem because my old fluorescent lights are starting to go and I can hear the ballast humming on a couple of these. So I've got to replace them. Well, what are the options? Since I have to replace those fluorescent lights anyway, I wanted to look around and see what the options were to get a good quality bright light on my critical work surfaces. You know, it's kind of frustrating to have to keep using these magnifying lights right here to make it bright enough to be able to see what I'm doing, especially when I'm doing the detailed work associated with tying fishing rigs. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna measure using a light meter. I've got an app here on my smartphone that'll do that to see what my current situation is and then I'm going to see what the improvements are with this Cineton High Bay LED light that is high performance. This thing pumps out 22,400 lumens, is IP65 rated, which means you could squirt it with low pressure water and it won't phase it. It's safety certified by UL, ETL, and DLC, so I know it's a good choice. It comes with the plug-in, which is the same I've got on my current lighting. It also has a safety strap if you feel like you need that wherever you're going to put it in. But anyway, let's measure my current situation and then we'll measure the improvement, I hope, that this LED light will provide. Using my light meter, I'm showing 1500 lux coming from the LED lights. Let's go check the fluorescence. Under the fluorescence, over here where my fingers might get cut off, I'm only getting 680 lux. Before we go any farther, it's important to understand the difference between lumens and lux. Lumens is the rating of how much light is being emitted at the surface of the light. Lux takes into account the distance that that light source is from your working surface. So lux is the critical measurement because you're not gonna be working right here next to the light. I'm gonna go ahead and install this where my fluorescents are and we'll see the difference. And I hope it's startling. Installing this is simple as hanging it up. I'm not gonna use the safety strap, so I just wrapped it around the hook. Whoa! That is a dramatic difference. I'm reading 7300 lux down here on my work surface and this is just so absolutely bright that I'll be able to see everything. What an amazing performance difference the Cineton High Bay Light makes. Now there is one issue I need to point out. Uh, Cineton recommends that these be installed at 14 feet of height and the height in my shop here is only eight feet to the ceiling. So I do notice I get some glare on my glasses where the light is reflecting off the bottom of my frame. Solution to that is simple. I'll just wear a hat, shade my glasses, and everything is good. So what's your perspective on this? Have you used these brilliant high bay lights in your own shop? What are the pros and cons you see? Throw them down there in the comments. I'll appreciate it, thanks. Well, I tell you, there's no problem at all reading the scale on these measuring tapes. Now I know I can get some pretty good precise cuts when I do my woodworking.